What do we have for Surge? Eight of Swords, Gemini energy at the foundation of the reading, Sag. Some sort of event took place in the past. For some of you, this could be happening right now. But I feel that your name, your reputation was dragged through the mud for something you didn't do or an exaggeration of the truth. Now, I feel that this was spearheaded by one person in particular, but there could have been others involved. What this particular situation led to was, again, your reputation being tarnished in some capacity and affecting your life. You could have lost a job because of this. You could have lost a home because of this. You could have had to move because of this. Take it as it fits. But as time has gone on, the person who spearheaded this was seemingly blessed and gifted with some sort of success in their life. And now what is starting to unfold is very interesting because I feel that this individual was only able to build what they did so the divine would have a bigger audience for them to feel the impact of what they did to you. So simply put, if somebody did indeed put you through something like what I just picked up here and channeled through for all of you, it's like somebody being given a whole bunch of subscribers to their channel, let's just say. And now they're having this massive fall from grace and people are actually starting to see them for who they really are. It's an energy of somebody telling lies about you, but then the divine actually showing the world truths about them. I feel that this person you're dealing with is the kind of individual who also blames all their problems in their life on having some sort of form of mental illness, which may be the case, but I'm picking up on heavy drug addiction and alcoholism with this individual. And there's definitely a fine line between being hungover and having mental illness. And I feel like this is the kind of person who will be hungover and then tell the world that they have mental illness, right? And this could be somebody who's doing this on their platform, all right? These are some of the sickest people around, all right? Because what they're doing is actually making themselves an advocate for real mental illness. You know, people who are struggling with drug addiction or alcoholism and also say they have mental illness should first address the addiction, and then see if that mental illness is lingering around. Because even though I've never personally suffered from mental illness in my life, when I was somebody who drank, sometimes I would have bouts of anxiety that would make me depressed. I gave up drinking several years ago, and these are just all things that dissipated as I removed that substance from my life. But whatever the case here, this individual is uh, truly a pathetic person, and I feel that this person preys on people's weaknesses as a means to make themselves relevant. This is also a grifter, right? They go with what will get people's attention. And there's something about this individual that refuses to leave you alone. It's like they know what you know about them, and they've put a target on your back because of this. This truly feels like your mortal enemy here, Sag. And this reading can be for anybody who's watching it. You don't have to be a Sag. You can be a cross watcher. You can certainly be a Sag. You can be any other zodiac sign. If the reading resonates, it resonates. And this goes for all of my readings. But right now, you're being given a front row seat to see the karma unfold in this individual's life. Because this person really came gunning for you, Sag. This person caused a lot of delay, caused a lot of restriction, caused a lot of hurt and pain in your life that was completely unnecessary. But the whole reason for this was to cover up who they really are. So coming for you and creating stagnation on your path so you wouldn't be able to quite possibly retaliate against this person became their mission. This is also somebody who is dealing with a lot of self-imposed restrictions in their life right now. I'm picking up uh, heavy, heavy um, mental instability here that I feel is, uh, again, self-induced by uh, substances. It's as if this person is just digging themselves deeper and deeper into this hole. And it's like they can't even see that they're inside of the hole. And this is karma, you know, when everybody else can see it except for them.
There's also something about this individual and their physical appearance, I feel. I feel like this person has been doing everything and anything just to be relevant and just to be accepted. Truly a sad case here. By all accounts, this is somebody who needs to be put in a rehabilitation center, right? You know, it always blows my mind when I come across people who have made it this far in their life, torturing other people based on their own shadow and unhealed trauma. It's like, who's around this person? Who has allowed them to get this far? Who's enabling this behavior? Says a lot about those closest to this individual, which could also speak about this individual providing for quite possibly some people around them based on this platform or this success, which it was built up only so the divine can drop them from the very top. And this is what is taking place right now. What do we have at the sacral, please? Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy at the sacral. Sag, I feel that a lot of you have really taken your time and done things the right way. This is very much the energy of somebody who took the left-hand path and another individual who took the right-hand path. Somebody was walking with the devil and somebody was walking with God and the divine. And, you know, when you walk with God and the divine, it always takes longer to manifest what it is you're trying to bring into your reality. Because the divine wants you to take in the journey, to enjoy the journey, to build something that lasts, that cannot be shaken or taken down. When you take the left-hand path, which is just another way of speaking about selling your soul, it's all about quick fixes. It's all about right now and doing whatever you have to to get it. But what happens is when you get to the end of that path, you realize that you weren't a part of building that foundation. You don't even remember the journey because you never took it. You were just taken from the first step to the last. So you have no say so in any of it. The left hand path is always a trap. But these individuals don't care. It's all about laugh now, cry later. And they don't consider any of the individuals whose skulls they have to step on to get there. This is what this person is. A skull crusher. I feel like this person has tried to sacrifice many people on their path. In fact, I think they have actually gotten away with some of it, but not you. I feel like this person has been watching you rise slowly, but very steadily. And now it's gotten to the point where whatever you've built up has become very significant. It's starting to cast a shadow over this weak infrastructure that this individual has built out of, oh, I'm picturing, in my mind's eye, I'm seeing a castle made of toothpicks, right? This is what this person has. This person sold out to the devil, to the matrix, to the lie, to the illusion. They were allowed to sit on top for a while. Some of you may have found yourself questioning reality when this was taking place because it's difficult to watch somebody who's so incredibly diabolical, wicked, and evil sit on top. We see this on the world stage, obviously. You know, this is very common. It happens uh, in politics and the entertainment industry, people who don't deserve to be where they are. But all of them, every single time, have a very hard fall from the top. It always happens eventually. And again, now more than ever, we're seeing this play out all over the world. So it doesn't surprise me that this is coming up inside your energy, Sag, because as above, so below, there's always these micro to macro scales playing out everywhere. So a lot of the time, what you're going through in your life is playing out somewhere on a bigger scale on the world stage. But what you have, Sag, isn't going anywhere. We can see this concrete structure in the background, right? And the pages represent the first step of something. You manifested this with help from the divine. You've been very practical and you've been a channel and you've been a very dependable vessel for the divine. And what does that mean to be a dependable vessel? Well, Sag, when you're walking with the divine and God and you're doing whatever you can in your everyday waking life to get on your path, this means that you're receiving downloads, you're receiving messages. You feel intuitively guided to go in a particular direction. This direction you're being guided to go is divinely led, divinely guided, because there's something along that path that is going to help assist in not only the evolution of you, but the collective at large. You're essentially walking in accordance with your mission as a means to fulfill your destiny. 
It's also an energy of you really just having faith that the way you're being led is the way you're supposed to go. No matter how that may look, there may be some highs, there may be some lows, it may be a rocky path, but you have faith that no matter how it may look in the here and now, eventually you will reach your destination and things will start to smooth out. Your manifestation abilities are very strong at this time, Sag. You are on the path of one who seeks abundance and they find it. And it isn't attained by any sort of quick fixes or any sort of shortcuts. It's attained by taking the long scenic route. And I feel that this is something that you're actually enjoying. You're happy to do it. Because what the divine has also allowed you to understand is when you get to said destination or you just get far enough down this path to actually start seeing the reflections of your manifestation showing up in your waking life, you have all this wisdom, you have all this experience, you have a story to tell from the time you spent on that journey, right? It's all about the journey, not the destination. And that wisdom, that story, sky's the limit. What do we have, the solar plexus, please? Seven of Swords. Aquarius energy at the solar plexus. So why this person has been busy trying to steal energy from you and everybody else who comes across their path, you have been focused on the task at hand, right? Here they are going one direction. Here you are looking in that direction. But see how right here, even though they're going in the opposite direction of you, they're looking over their shoulder to see if you've noticed what they're doing. I just heard energetic attacks. There's something about this individual where they've just been sending out a kind of energy. Um, now, this can go back to what I said in regards to the uh, dragging of your name or tarnishing your reputation, right? This is uh, definitely an energetic attack. Words uh, are how we express ourselves. Expression emanates energy, whether it be good or whether it be bad. And words cast spells, especially when you're trying to steer a narrative or to put false accusations on somebody's name. The karmic repercussions for these kinds of actions that are taken against an individual that is walking their path are severe. They're long-lasting, they're spread out, they're slow, and you don't see them coming. Just like I said, this person is trapped inside a matrix of their own making. They've created this world of illusion. They've created this world of lies. Right? If you're telling these diabolical lies on an individual, that just becomes your world. Eventually, you live inside a universe that is made up of lies, but you're not privy to the lies. You've created your own mental restriction. Your reality is lying to you. I feel like this individual has been coming against you from behind the scenes for a very long time. Uh, I just saw four, three, seven. I say yes, yeah, at three, four, three, seven. Okay, I'm seeing ten, three, one, seven. Okay, I'm just starting to see a collection of numbers moving around in my mind's eye. But whatever the case, uh, the storyline here is going to be um, different for all of you. So just take the messages uh, and apply them as you see fit. But there's something here around seven and there's seven swords there something could have so what 2024 2017 this could have been something that took place in 2017 for some of you this could have even been somebody that um, you're friends with could have been a family member even somebody you were romantically linked to it just seems to be somebody who once had access to you it could really be anybody though let's keep going what do we have at the heart place wow seven eight nine i mean this this says it all right here they are seven of swords very deceptive underhanded sneaky energy behind the scenes which puts them in this eight of swords right they create their own restriction based on the actions that they mounted against you, and then Nine of Swords at the heart, Gemini energy, seven, eight, nine, it becomes their reality, right? 
See that demon? It's like their actions created a, a kind of demon. I think they call it uh, an egregor. An egregor is a non-physical entity or thought form that arises from the collective thoughts and emotions of a distinct group of individuals. So, again, it's like they manifested their own reality based on this wicked energy they were putting out into the collective, right? I mean, I'm seeing heavy uh, mental restrictions here. And, you know, this is... Uh, nine and eight of swords this is you know these are the cards of mental illness but going back to what i said at the beginning of the reading i feel like it's all substance related mental illness right i'm just getting this energy where uh, this person's drowning in it it's like they keep trying to numb this and digging themselves further and further into this hole of substance abuse which is creating this egregor and trapping them inside this alternate reality i mean that that does sound like a form of mental illness. It's like you're trapped inside um, a world that's comprised of your own wickedness. I just heard, you are their last stop before karma. Okay, so what I feel this means, Sag, it's like right before this karma really sets in, they get a glimpse of you in a light that they haven't seen you in before. It's like finally you've reached this plateau where what you have built is so significant, right? It's casting that shadow on what they've built. I'm just seeing these towers in my mind's eye, right? It's like the devil comes along and puts them in this porcelain tower while you're down in the dirt with nothing. And then over time, you're just building your own tower out of bricks, taking your time. Every few months, you have one more row of bricks. But now... Your tower is so gigantic and built out of literal brick and mortar, and it's casting a shadow over this porcelain tower that they've been sitting in the entire time. My mind's eye, I'm seeing an individual standing in the porcelain tower spitting down on you, right? This is just um, an example of the way they treated you. I also feel, Sag, that you showed this person kindness. I really feel this in the energy intuitively. I feel like you tried to help this person. I feel like you tried to, oh, okay, I just said last stop before karma, right? So it's like, oh, wow, the divine used you as a tower in their life, metaphorically speaking. That's why I was seeing this symbology of these towers in my mind's eye. You were the tower in this individual's life, and they didn't even know it. You were sent into their life to wake them up. They failed the test. You were their last stop before karma. See, this fake success or this fake rise that they had, as soon as that began is really when the karma began to unfold. They just didn't realize it. Nobody else did either. It's like a roller coaster, right? It takes you all the way to the very top and then it drops you off, right? This is like how I'm seeing their karma unfold. This person's having a lot of nightmares. I feel like this person is by all accounts haunted, right? It's like they're... I just heard, uh, oh, well, I just heard, I just heard bag of bones. Something going on with this person's health as well, which could be a result of the um, drug or alcohol addiction. Uh, just intense anxiety. I'm also picking up something here surrounding, well, the Nine of Swords can be an energy of uh, rehab as well. Okay, so... Okay, I just heard this is the only way out for them. I feel like these addictions they have were, well, they existed before all of this took place. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy at the throat. So much air energy here. So much emphasis on the mind. Right? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. And these are some of the harshest cards in the tarot. Eight, seven, nine. These are horrendous energies. Because it's all having to do with your mental faculties. Which is the worst kind of karma. Because you're not perceiving things as they really are. Okay, I'm also hearing something about this individual possibly being um, somebody who... God, they're really having me... Uh, 
speak about some subject matters here that, I don't know, hopefully this stuff doesn't trigger you guys, but it's coming through. This person might be somebody who um, is into self-mutilation, like cutting themselves, because they're so disconnected from um, reality. I used to date somebody years and years ago who did that, and I saw the um, the cuts on her thigh, and uh, it uh, freaked me out, scared me. And I asked her why she did that, and she said that um, she needed a reminder that she was still alive by feeling the pain. <sighs> She was also somebody who abused drugs and alcohol. I'm getting a similar energy here. This Queen of Swords, I feel, is representing a side of you that was hidden from them. There's parts of you that are being illuminated to this individual, I just heard from afar, that they never saw before. I feel like this person is starting to understand the role that you played in their life. They're being forced to be honest with themselves, but they're having a hard time releasing their ego. This person is so concerned with their outward appearance and the way the world receives them. This is obviously somebody who's very wounded and needs help. But I feel that it, it's just gone on for so long now that this was the only logical way that the divine saw to get this person to wake up is by implementing this cycle of karma in their life because of how much wickedness they have subjected others to on their path. You know, this is the kind of individual that um, rather than uh, get help for all of this They'll just go out into the world and project this onto other people and tell people that they need help, right? It's just somebody who's, again, living inside like an alternate reality that I, I just feel so strongly that it's all fueled by substances. I feel like this person's drug and alcohol addiction is for the most part enabled by the people around them because nobody's really taking action because of what this person provides for them from this porcelain tower, so to speak. It's like, here they are, right? There's that egregor, right? And then here they are inside their head, can't sleep, completely haunted. And then here's this energy, which could represent, I feel like it, it feels more like source, the divine, but you are a representative of source and the divine. So there's a connection there. And it's like this queen of swords, it's like, look, Look at what you're doing to yourself. You created that. Okay, I just heard this person refuses to give up the ghost. So now they're becoming haunted because that ghost is inside of them. Wow. Okay. What do we have at the... Yeah, this person is... You're going to keep watching you win. Page of Cups at the third eye. You have nothing but beginning after beginning here in multiple sectors of your life. This Page of Pentacles is speaking about um, all things material. It could be your job. Uh, just things you're trying to manifest. You're allowing these things to come to you in accordance with the divine's will for your life. And then this Page of Cups. Page of Cups is also uh, energy of new beginnings. It's an energy of synchronicity, okay? It's also a, a very creative kind of energy. I just feel that you're in a space right now, Sag, where all the struggles you've been through in your life, the divine is showing you how to create a life for yourself based on those struggles. And, you know, something that I speak about quite often in my readings is that uh, I just got ringing in my ear as well. So, I feel like that's confirming what I'm about to say for a lot of you here. Um, your struggles, Sanj, that you've been through in your life are what you use to channel your creativity, okay? You could be a writer, you could be a musician, you could be a painter. There's so many different ways this can show up, so uh, just take it as it fits. But it's like your path has been cleared for you now. There's no more restriction. Uh, there just seems to be, okay, I'm starting to feel something in my throat. There was some sort of restriction around your communication, I feel, for a time here. It could have been based on the energy that this person was sending your way, or if this had to do with your reputation and what this person may have caused in that area of your life. It's like that slowed you down for a while, but now all these doors are beginning to open for you. 
you have nothing but beginnings and they have nothing but endings. And I just noticed this, right? There's their porcelain tower back there. And then here's, right, the foundation, let's say, of your tower, right? One brick at a time. It's almost like they were coming over to where you were building your tower and stealing your bricks, right? That can just speak metaphorically for the amount of restriction and delays that this person caused on your path. What do we have at the crown, please? Two, wow. Two of wands at the crown, and there you are standing in the top of your tower. Aries energy at the crown. And see how there's that trickster energy just sitting back there like, oh, fooey, they can't fool Sag anymore. They finished their tower. I can't steal any more bricks. This person's being forced. Oh, God, the ringing. Right as I'm preparing to say something, I'll get this ringing, and it's really to um, highlight, okay, what I'm preparing to say, but it's like this person... Uh, has to watch you now. The divine is preparing a table for you in front of your enemies. This is the energy. You're progressing forward. There's nothing but opportunity and potential inside your energy. It's like you're actually building something solid and sound. And it's also an energy I'm picking up here, Sag, where when you started out on this path, I feel like you felt the weight of how long it was going to take, right? It's like standing on a mound of dirt and you're like oh my god i have to build this entire tower it's going to take me several years but now you're at the top of the tower you actually finished it and as you think back right two of wands right just thinking about how far you've come you're like oh my god here i am i'm on top of the world you're looking at things from this higher perspective you're thinking about the journey you realize it just it was a flash in the pan. It didn't take that long at all. And this is what it feels like when you're walking a divine path, right? We're meant to think that it's going to take a long time, but it actually doesn't. Because when you walk down that path, you start to align with this timeline that we're picking up on here now. And it's like all the struggle of the past becomes this fading memory. It's almost as if it didn't happen. It feels as if you've always been where you are right now. Like everything was just a bad dream. What do we have at the foundation, please? Oh, wow. Again, Nine of Swords. So interesting that I was speaking about things having to do with this individual's mentals, right, at the beginning of the reading, and all the cards are here. Just puts more impact behind the message because not only was I really feeling that message intuitively and I was scrying those messages as well, so it's in my notes, but we actually got the cards as well. There's a three-step process to the way that I deliver these messages. I'll get these intuitive downloads. I'll start scrying, right, and writing notes. And then the cards will help me to um, piece together the message so I can deliver to all of you. And when the cards actually are representative of the notes and the downloads, it's, it's a huge confirmation that we're right on target here. And then, of course, this individual here is aiming at a target, right? It's like this person, oh, oh, wow. Okay, so I mentioned earlier on in the reading, this person put a target on your back. This has all been um, sent back. Now this person has a target on them, right? And see how this individual is aiming right here, right? It's like these arrows are going back to them. Everything they sent out is going back, but with an increased force, right? Which is just another way of speaking about karma going back uh, tenfold or multiplied by however many, right? It's like they send these arrows your way, they're deflected, and when they're deflected, they pick up more speed. And so when they go back to where they came from, the impact is unbearable. It's overwhelming. Eight, nine, seven, nine of swords. 
And then here you are just in the middle of all this, on your mound of dirt, taking your time, building, nurturing this connection with source, doing things right. This really speaks as well about um, what we're seeing in entertainment and on the world stage at the moment. Again, all these people who just sold themselves out and everybody in their life so they can get some sort of quick fame. But now people are starting to look at these individuals and fame is just not really something that sound-minded people really care about because they know to get it in that capacity comes with a major sacrifice. You, the people around you, to walk the path of that kind of fame, morals are looked down upon. They do not serve you. They restrict you. However, I feel that where we're going globally, and I feel that you're a part of this too, Sanj, with whatever you're building here, things are going to be done differently now. We're replacing the old way of doing things with this new way of doing things. And it's in alignment with the divine's will for all our paths in our life. It's a success that is divinely guided. It's not a success that's constructed by the devil and his minions. Selling your soul is not required. Because to attain this new kind of success that I'm picking up here, right? The divinely led success. Your soul is what allows you to access it. What do we have at the sacral, please? This person is dealing with a lot of uh, torment, a lot of depression. This person, uh, again, I just keep hearing things about um, substance abuse. Okay, too many cards. What do we have at the, okay. I just saw that Ten of Pentacles. That's an energy of um, somebody who's losing their community, right? Which goes back to what I said. So if it's somebody who has an audience, it's like people are seeing them for who they are. People are just leaving. People see this person as washed up and ran through. The skeletal remains of the person that they once were. Oh, okay, a bag of bones. I think I said that earlier on in the reading. Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, energy at the sacral. Oh, wow. Yeah, ran through is also exactly right. I feel like this person did everything and anything to attain what they have now. And, uh, you know, this Knight of Wands here, this is just that energy. Somebody who has been on a path of self-destruction does not care how their behavior may affect others. This person is just surrounded by absolute chaos, very impulsive. I feel like this person is very promiscuous, male or female. And I feel that a lot of this has to do with what they've attained. And I feel that this person is also dealing with other forms of karma based on uh, that behavior with their health, okay? You guys can use your imagination there. I don't need to get into detail, but it's coming through here. This is exactly what this card means. And it's right at the sacral, okay? So overactive sacral energy is very hedonistic. Uh, somebody who's very fixated on sex and all this sort of stuff to attain um, what it is that they want to attain. I feel like this person hit all this for a long time, but now they can't. It's just all over their face. Um, it's in their entire demeanor. I feel like this person is one of these individuals as well that overshares and they don't even think about what they're saying. They just say a bunch of stuff. And then it isn't until like, you know, days later that they'll think back to what they said. And they're like, oh my God, I can't believe what I said. It's like there's something inside of them that has taken them over. Somebody who is, by all accounts, under possession, right? Uh, this energy that they have around them it creates like lapses in their memory they forget what they do well, this is the kind of person as well that probably goes out and gets wasted blacks out and then wakes up god knows where with god knows who having done god knows what <sighs> eight of swords again on the bottom of the deck unbelievable what do we have at the solar plexus Two of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, Ammon at the solar plexus. Confirming everything I just said, this is an energy of complete disorder. I feel like this person is also the kind of individual that's very uh, disorganized, very uh, messy. This person's having a lot of financial problems. Everything is just falling apart slowly, right? And see how this person here, well, it's not a person, it's like this demon. 
it looks like they broke their wrists, right? And then it looks like they're kind of screaming, right? But immediately I got this energy of like um, them trying to get people to feel sorry for them. Like, I have mental illness, please. But they don't. They're just hung over and drunk and on drugs, right? This is who this person has become. Sag, I feel like you always knew this was going to happen. You just had this deep knowing. I feel like there was a point in time where you may have felt sorry for this person. Like you knew the path that they were walking down and despite everything that they did to you, you never retaliated because you could see where it would all end up. What do we have with the heart? Five of Wands, Leo Energy, Ajiris, Immorality. This person has been competing with you the entire time and you never even really knew it. I feel like... Their whole motivation was to crush you or destroy you or, I don't know, it's just like, it feels like some weird vendetta. And it started a long time ago. It goes back to the lie, the tarnishing of your reputation. I mean, five of wands, that would be the card that represents all of that. Somebody who created obstacles on your path. It's a very petty energy, which is telling me that the basis for their behavior is founded on a lie, founded on something that they just made up inside their head. I feel like this person has been screaming this mental illness narrative from the rooftops for so long. This is actually what they're manifesting into their life now. Now they're actually going to get that, right? It's like, okay, you tell everybody you have mental illness when you don't, right? You're just addicted to drugs and alcohol and always hung over. The divine finally saying, okay, well, you know what? Here you go. Two of Wands, Love and Wisdom, Jalel, Aries Energy. So see how this individual is holding their wrist there, right? Goes back to what I said about this person wanting to feel pain to remind them that they're alive, right? They're they are holding their pulse. And it looks like this person is, they have bags under their eyes. It looks like they're almost crying or they're just going through it, right? See how they're looking right at you. It's like this pairs with this. It's like um, everything's falling apart in their life. And at the same time, you're rising up and they have to see this. They're like, oh my God, I mean, is this even real? How did this happen? How quickly the scales tipped is what I just heard. Yeah, I mean, look, even though this karma that I'm picking up here is um, seemingly very long and drawn out and very slow, they don't know they're in that. They don't know that that's what's happening. But when they do finally realize it, it's like it happens from one day to the next. Like one day everything is great, they're on top, then the next day it's like everything just came apart at the seams. It's a lot like... Um, you know, these celebrities who are being exposed these days, right? It's like one day everything's normal. And then the next day it's like dozens of people come out with these allegations against them. And it's like everything just falls apart in a blink of an eye. Same energy here. Okay. Exactly the same. It's like everybody has a story on this person. Everybody's got something to say. It's just all a matter of timing. What do we have at the throat, please? Ace of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy at the throat. Nathael, God, the king of heaven, rejuvenation, obtains the mercy of God and gives long life. So this is very much the energy you're in. In fact, Sag, there's only a few cards on this table that I feel are representing you. And this cycle that you're stepping into, right? Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, a little bit of this Queen of Swords and this Two of Wands here. But this Ace of Cups is interesting because this is, it's like you've run the gamut, right? Page of Cups to Ace of Cups. And whenever I get this card, it, I mean, even though it's a cup, it just, to me, it looks like somebody holding a trophy, like you've accomplished something. It's like there's a lot of um, recognition coming through for you at this time, Sag, for all the hard work you've put in and everything you've had to endure. It's like you didn't falter on your path. You kept your head held high. Even through all the storms, you just kept pushing through. Your faith was just completely unbreakable. You understand that we are very much down here on Earth in this three-dimensional density by orders of the divine to fulfill a mission. You know that there's highs and lows 
inside our reality. You know that you have free will. You know that this density, this reality, this simulation, this matrix, whatever you want to call it, is full of temptation, greed, lust, but you haven't succumbed to it. You've kept it pushing. You've managed to get around any obstacles that have come your way. You were never expected to be perfect, but you're about as close as you can get to it, okay? And it doesn't matter how spiritually awakened you are. We're all human, and this reality we're living in, I mean, it is a war zone. It is really really challenging to maintain yourself on these paths. At the end of the day, you've always done your best and you haven't made up excuses for yourself. You've taken responsibility when you have had missteps. And there'll be more. Sometimes we have to take the missteps to um, collect some wisdom. You know, After all, we need to live some life here and experience things so we can have a well-rounded set of experiences and vocabulary to be able to be of use to the divine, to be a vessel. But you always find yourself, Sag, always. What do we have in the third eye, please? Nine of swords again. Wow. Nine of swords, nine of swords, nine of swords. From three, I'm using four decks here. One, two, three, four. So we got nine of swords from three of the four decks. Unbelievable. Gemini energy, Hariel, the comforting God. Purification, protection from the impious religious sentiments. Okay, so see this little, I mean, it's like a, it's like a little fallen angel, right? Jumping on your back here, right? But it's blindfolded. They can't even see what it's doing, right? It's just like an energy that is trying to stop you from moving forward, but then the divine is trying to swat this energy off of your back. And see right there, they're blindfolded and they're blindfolded here too. And then right here, it's like they're rubbing their head. It's like something having to do with their third eye. It's like they can't get a grasp on reality. It's like they can't see things for what they really are because they're so consumed. They're so haunted by these egregors, by these spirits. I mean, they summoned these spirits. When you get on a particular path and you're implementing certain behavioral patterns in your life, let's say, for example, the drug addiction or the alcoholism, and then you're going out into the world actually hurting other people, you're going out of your way to hurt people, you are just opening up the gates of hell. You're inviting all of these spirits to come and take up residency inside your life, inside your mentals. And this is probably the kind of person that thought that they were calling on spirits and were able to send them out to you, Sag, or to other people. This never works out. I've never once seen this work out for somebody. Never once. It always ends bad. Always. What do we have the crown to close out for Sag, please? Seven of swords again. Wow. Eight of swords, seven of swords, nine of swords, nine of swords. Nine of swords, seven of swords. Manichel, Aquarius energy. God nurturing and maintaining everything. Knowledge of good and evil appeases divine anger, cures epilepsy. Okay, so I feel like this is speaking metaphorically about the energy they sent your way, right? So let's say, hypothetically, they were sending energy or spirit towards you to, to cause you to have some sort of epilepsy or epileptic seizure, right? Now it goes back and it shows up in the form of this egregor, which is just having a field day on their mental faculties. And knowledge of good and evil, it's like this is all really crystallizing to you now. You can see this. Everybody can see them for who they are. If this is somebody who tarnished your reputation like I picked up, those people will eventually start to see the truth. I don't think it matters anyway. I don't think that uh, you care, and it certainly has no influence on your path, Sag. But it's really an energy of people seeing the truth. It's all a part of their karma, you know? And again, it's, it's slow. It takes time right? But then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the floodgates open, right? And all these people come out of the woodwork with receipts, with stories, with allegations and accusations against this individual here. 
And it says right there, God nurturing and maintaining everything. So everything happening in divine order, the way it's supposed to, Sag. And what you need to understand is you have been used as a divine vessel to run this particular cycle. It was all a part of your mission. You are a soldier of awakening. You were sent into this individual's life to trigger something. You were meant to trigger their awakening. You're also an example. You're inspiration for others to see what it means to enjoy the journey and to do things in accordance with the divine will for your life. Sag, this is the message I have available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all of my contact details in the description below this video. And thank you for your donation, Sag. Take care.